Welcome to my well spent youth. Today I'm going to be playing Zool 2. I decided to go with the second one because I played both Zool and Zool 2. Had demos for them when I was growing up. Never played the full version though. Just because I never got it. It was fun to play the demos. And Zool is. Uh, it's a game that is made in association with Chubba Chucks. That's all I really know about it. And it's, I mean the first level apparently, just full of Chubba Chup references. The demo of course only ever had the full, the first level, so that's all I got to see. Now let's get this configured right, so I can find out what the keys are. Uh, let's change this to A. Left, right, up, down. Right. Here we go. It's back to normal. Okay. okay. Yeah, you could do it two players, but all that meant was one person did it until they couldn't do any more. I think until they died, probably. So the next person did it and did it until they died. If I'm right. Don't think he played both at the same time. Anyway, let's get into this. Zool 1, you only had one character. This one you got two. The, there's not much difference between them, but they have different abilities and so they take different paths through the level. You can go as the girl, just because I usually do go as the girl. <laughs> Yeah. Free advertising for Chubba Shops. Okay. Probably should have tried and get my um, gamepad to work with this. Ah, it's actually different using up to <laughs> jump. Uh, secret way of yeah. No. Yay! Oh, get the bomb, get the yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basic platformer, really. I mean, yeah, maybe it doesn't look too great, but back in the day, it looked perfect. <laughs> so you can jump and spin. Mm, you're always collecting lollies. And of course, this is the only one I've played. Oh, checkpoint. Yeah. This one. Ooh, crash rubber. Yeah, and certain things you could. Ah. ah. <laughs> it's actually quite tricky playing like this. I should have done it differently. Set up the controls differently. So I'm playing just the one hand. It's <laughs> making things really. No, I can't. I can tell you. I can tell you. Sure, I can. I would actually use the bomb. Yay, blah blah. It's it's a bit weird. Kind of very very strange kind of um, world that there is. Don't jump. Ah. Don't jump. Ah, can't jump up that way. Yep, yep, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm concentrating too much on this. Ooh. And there's another secret over here. I always knew where all the secrets were. And ah, come on, go straight up. <laughs> uh, so, so it's quite tricky now that I think about it. Especially playing like this. Ah, I'm so used to using spaces jump in games. I mean, the jump being different from up. And it's just a, it's a weird thing. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure I um 
We did get through this whole thing once. This first level. Ah, yeah. See, typical platforming stuff. Ah, come on. Frustrating platform stuff as well. <laughs> And just keep going, keep going. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. It's actually very smooth. I mean, it's something I always remember. You know, there wasn't much um, lag in the graphics. It was always very... Ah, darn. ah all the way down to the bottom. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, um, again, it's really smooth in the graphics. Uh, if you consider this game was originally made for the Amiga and was ported over to DOS, it was the DOS version they're playing. Ah, get away, yes, we things. And I mean, the graphics are pretty good. I know, I was just saying the graphics. Yeah, they're not as good as um, what we're used to today, of course. Ow! Ow! Oh, no, not again. <laughs> but it's, um, yeah. Yeah, really, going back to it, it's... They were good graphics back then. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's a just a basic platformer, really. Just with chubba chups <laughs> in the first level here. Why it had chubba chups? I have no idea. Ooh, ooh, I think I'm supposed to go down that way. Oh, oh, oh no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, there's another place. I think it's this one here. So if you play as her, she can go through there. No, I think he can go through there. She has to go a different way. Ah, that's right. She goes through this way. Oh, I died again. Oh, damn. Let's go back here. Ah. Yes. This was around the time when... Oh, done when platformers were becoming big. Now it's a time with um, Sonic and all that kind of stuff. And it's... Yeah, it's... One that I don't think many people really heard of that much, to be honest. I think it was, you know, just... Because it's such a weird game, I mean... I think because it was on Amiga. <laughs> yeah, see, he can jump up through there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, I mean, at least in New Zealand, the Amiga wasn't really a big platform. As far as I know. As far as I can remember. Mm, yeah, so... And we had it because it was on a demo disc. <laughs> and that's all really I know about it. Yeah, that's the end. That's the first level done. Jump around and click more stuff. Yeah, so that's that's Zool. Um, it's a platformer. <laughs> Pure and simple. You run around, jump, you click the stuff. And, yeah, you just jump around. Moving fast, fast moving stuff. It was a, yeah, a fun game. Yeah, it's just one I'd occasionally just boot up and play. Yeah, for no reason, just because it was there. Let me just see how far I could get this time. I mean, it just came out, just another platform at a time when there was a lot of platformers. There's this, Jazz Jackrabbit, um, 
yeah, it wasn't really focused on the shooting. You know, it's jumping platformer rather than a side-scrolling shooter. Although it does have the shooting in it. Yeah. But anyway, that's Zool. Or Zool 2, I should say. Zool 1, very much the same. Still sponsored by Chubba Chups. <laughs> yeah, we had... I'm pretty sure we had Zool 1. Just on a demo disc with a bunch of demos. You know, back when you could have 500 demos on one CD. <laughs> Because they're so, so small. Anyway, thanks for joining me as I replayed a bit of this game. And have a good one.